are you guys doing? I want to show you guys a couple of Seiko titanium watches on creation watches. And the thing about titanium watches is that they're lightweight. And the little description here pretty much says that. They're lightweight. They have a brush mat look. And they're kind of like the type of thing where you either really like titanium watches or you really don't really care for them. But I like the idea of a lighter watch myself. I mean, if you have a watch that's stainless steel, it's a pretty good size, and it, you find it's heavy and it slides down to your arm and into, like hitting on your hand and all that sort of thing, and the titanium watch would stay in place better, it's a good option to look at. So we'll take a look at the Seiko titanium watches. So here's the first one. We'll bring that up. Seiko Titanium Sapphire SGG 727 SGG 727P1 SGG 727P Men's Watch. As you can see, it's got pretty good reviews on there too. Just get some other pictures of it here. This is the back of the watch. As you can see, the the clasp is it's got a smaller style clasp with only the two micro adjusts. We'll look at the specifications. $161 Canadian. As you know, they're talking about the titanium be lighter, also about the scratch resistant sapphire crystal. And they're talking about how it's a simple design for this watch. So here's the features titanium case, of course, titanium bracelet, of course, caliber 7N43 movement. It's a quartz movement in this watch, five year battery life, sapphire crystal day and date display, white dial, and analog display, luminous cans and hour markers, and 100 meters water resistance. The case diameter is 40 millimeters, and the approximate case thickness is 8 millimeters. So just go through the specifics again here in the information. The case thickness is 8 millimeters. And more things about the dial and some more features 100 meters water resistance day and date display calendar functions day and day hour minute second some more features about the water resistance and see where it says deployment clasp that's a mistake it should be deployant clasp so it's considered a dress watch and good reviews pretty much so if you guys like a titanium watch and you like a dress watch and you like a quartz watch you like all those features and the size this could be a good pick for you guys right here if that, if that checks all the boxes that you like for a watch and the price and everything could be a good pick.
There you go. So what do you guys think of this watch? Now we'll see if we can find the Seiko Titanium watch on Creation Watches. So this one says Seiko Titanium, two-tone chronograph, SND451, SND451P1, SND451P men's watch, $204. We'll just get into the specifics of it. As you can see, the the bracelet is more compacted into the case of the watch, more blended in. Some people like that look. Some people, they don't really have a don't really have a draw to get that style. So you guys think of the look of this watch. Let's see if we can get another picture here. Let's see if we can get a picture of the case back of it. Here's the case back, and as you can see, the case curves along the um, towards the bracelet. You can see that curve the case has. Same kind of clasp as the other watch with the only the two micro adjustments. So we'll look at the particulars of this watch. A grand two-tone chronograph from Seiko. It comes in a titanium case, which makes it more durable than steel. It's highly precise, very light and comfortable, and offers an excellent readability. A well-made sporty watch with a battery life indicator. That's pretty neat. Its stopwatch makes split time measurement possible. Suited for well-dressed occasions, too. It goes well with any dark-colored outfit. Well, what do you know? Maybe it goes good with a light colored outfit too. There's another picture of it. That's a pretty nice watch. There's the luminescence. And Seiko watches are always good, well known, good and well known for good luminescence. So we'll get into some features. To chronograph watch, quartz watch again, caliper 7T92, crystal domed hardlex crystal, so it's not sapphire crystal, it's a hardlex crystal, which is actually a mineral crystal, and they're not known to be as durable as the sapphire crystals, they're known that they can scratch, so the sapphire crystals are a lot more tougher, they don't scratch as easy. So with this crystal and this watch, you'd have to be more careful about scratching it. Dial black with luminous hands, case titanium with screw down crown. Screw grit down crown is a good feature for water resistance, of course, and 100 meters water resistance. Titanium bracelet. This is a bigger watch than the previous one. The case diameter is 43 millimeters, including the crown. Case thickness, 10 millimeters. And you think about a quartz watch, if it's a good quality quartz watch, they can make a thinner case thickness. It doesn't have to be as thick, a good quality quartz watch. And some people really like that feature of having a thinner watch. And I'll tell you guys something too. In the early 1980s, thin watches were really, really, really popular. They were really desired. And if you went into a jewelry store or a watch store in the early 80s, you would see a lot of really, really thin watches. That was really the style then. And if you guys look at some old videos from the 80s, early 80s, you'll see somebody wearing a really thin watch, pretty much guaranteed to see that. So, titanium chronograph, that's just some basic information. Model SND451P1, quartz movement of course, titanium case thickness 10 millimeters, Screw down crown, 
fixed bezel means the bezel around the watch can't turn it. Hard lux crystal. Just some more of the features here. Titanium. So something a little different, I guess. Getting a titanium watch if you want to try something different or you're tired of heavier watches. Could be something to look into. And always good reviews, right? I don't think they're going to put on the real bad reviews anyway. So you guys think. You got to see a couple of Seiko watches here. Titanium. Maybe quartz, but they're all titanium case and bracelet. So what do you guys think of that? So thank you for your time, you guys. And talk to you again soon.